what's up? I'm Percy. This is Mercy. Mercy is using the microwave. Welcome to a new edition of the internationally acclaimed brand new hit morning show called Hacka! Where every day we upload a short little video that's hopefully something inspiring, motivating, distracting. All the toppings keep falling off on my pancake. <laughs> Even for you. Uh -huh. Happy Monday, September 28th. And so today's news, you know what happened on Friday that I thought was kind of interesting? What? <laughs> I like your energy today. <laughs> How do we bottle that up? Because some of these days you're just like, <sighs> give me some cereal. On Friday, a new movie dropped on YouTube. That's cool. <laughs> Father of the Bride 3 ish. I'm just washing my hands. One more happy birthday to go! You haven't seen Father of the Bride, but it's PG, by the way. Oh, so we should watch Father of the Bride soon. With Steve Martin, Diane Keaton, Kieran, I don't know how you say his name, I'm sorry, Kieran, Kieran, Macaulay Culkin's Karen, brother. Kieran Coolidge? I don't know how to say his name. Sorry! If he watches this, I'm sorry. Do you know who Macaulay Culkin is? Yeah, your favorite movie. It's one of my top five favorite movies too, probably. Uh, Alone. There you go. Basically this sort of a sequel to Father of the Bride. It takes place 20 years after Father of the Bride 2 had come out. It's like a fake little Zoom movie. All the characters are in separate rooms and a bunch of people show up like Steve Martin and Diane Keaton. Robert De Niro shows up in it which is pretty cool. He's Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, famous actor. He plays the father of a girl in the movie. I don't want to give anything else away. I checked it out. It's like 30 minutes. It's on YouTube. I think Netflix helped. Oh, Check out um, Home Alone. It's really good. Yeah, if you haven't seen Home Alone. But maybe just check out the first two. I haven't even, they won't even let me watch the third one. Since they the say third one's terrible. terrible. <laughs> what I love about Father of the Bride 3-ish, one, the person who made it, the original creator of the Father of the Bride movies, Nancy... Nancy... Something... Nancy. Producer! Nancy Myers, I knew it. She's got a great article in the New York Times kind of talking about how she put this together. But she immediately comes out and she's like, I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. So that was at one point that was awesome. Like, she's just gonna do it. She has no idea how she's gonna do it. But she's gonna try to do it anyways. Number two, she was nervous about it. She didn't have a lot of confidence in it yet because she hadn't written these characters for like 20 years. So I thought that was pretty great, that she wasn't gonna let being nervous about this stop her from putting this movie out there, right? Number three was the conditions are obviously not perfect for a movie. The actors went through their closets looking for the right outfits to wear for this thing or looking for the right rooms. And some of the rooms weren't even gonna work out. Like Kieran Culkin lives in New York, but he needed a room that looked like he was kind of in a LA sunny place. Background of, of Kieran Culkin was actually, I think Nancy's daughter's house. So they just, you know, use one of those green screens where you can put anything behind you. I think we should do that by the way. Thing number four that was so great about this, they used just iPhones. So Nancy had her team just send all the actors iPhones and some microphones and lighting stuff, but it wasn't like this super sophisticated camera. She didn't send like fancy DSLRs to the actors. They filmed this whole thing just on iPhones, which I thought was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Just another one of those use the stuff that you've got to be creative and make stuff. And then the last thing I thought was editing this and making the movies was tough because of all these constraints, but she thought that the constraints brought out like the essence of movie making, Whoa. a focus just on storytelling. Whoa. What is essence? The most important part. And so by taking all the fancy stuff away, all the fancy makeup and the fancy costumes and all the people helping on a movie, she just got to focus on producing a really interesting story. One that I brought a tear to my eye even watching this stupid 30 minute Father of the Bride 3 ish. It was kind of fun. Check it out. I thought it was a kind of an inspiring tale of how they made that movie. You know what today is? No. Family Day. Hooray! Do, 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 do. Father of the Bride, great family movie. Today's Family Day. Just do stuff with your family. Yesterday we uh, hung out you, with my parents, and today you, we're just gonna hang out at you, home with this uh, family. It would be better if we were doing this yesterday, but because technically today is Monday, so. Technically today is Sunday. That for, for us. them it's Monday. For us, it's technically Sunday. Yeah, because we've, we've, we've broken your brain, haven't we, with the calendar? 
we're teaching you really terrible things about the calendar. You probably go to school telling them all it's a different day of the week than it really is. Do you even know what day it is in real life? It's Monday, Percy. No, or, it isn't Monday. Real, it's real I... life, it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Sunday. Uh, what have Sunday, we done? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. To have an awesome family day if, you have, uh, if you've got family around, you know, give them a call. Hang out with them. Maybe this story is viral and was going around, but I noticed Mr. Sprague, an old teacher of mine from high school, I mean, he watches some of these sometimes. Mr. Sprague, uh, you had posted on Facebook something, two running partners, and one of the running partners said something like, had asked like, oh, what are you gonna do now this afternoon? And the other running partner says, my husband wants us to make chili, I don't really want to make chili. I don't want to do that. The other running partner had lost her husband like six months ago. She tells the other running partner, go make the chili. Because like they're not going to be around forever. Yep. Exactly. No one is. Yep. You know what it's time for? Joke of the day and also known as the Poculator. Today's joke of the day is, po is posted by Mad as a Hatter. You know, I think we've had Mad as a Hatter on here before. We have? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. Ever since the pandemic started, every morning I proudly announce to my family that I'm going for a jog. And okay. then I don't. So what? It's my longest running joke ever. Longest running joke. Have an awesome Monday. And don't forget the yeah. Half Cap Show! That's right, don't forget the Half Calf Show. If you're new here, please hit the thumbs up, please subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Oh, and, and share it. And tell all the Sure, people. share it. I, but at this point, man, you've already liked it and subscribed. Dance, dance, dance. Percolator dance, the whole like lawn sprinkler dance, or no, is that a different dance? Do you have to actually look like a percolator? Yeah. Is there a percolator dance? Am I doing it right? That's a good question. I do not think you are doing it right. <laughs>